Dana White has just announced that the UFC 294 card in Abu Dhabi will be headlined by the matchup of Islam Makhachev versus Charles Oliveira 2. And right below that on the main card, we'll be getting Hamzat Shemaya versus Paulo Costa. And I'm going to be breaking down some of the news here, get my takes on it. So let's get right into the first matchup that was pretty much announced. We had Islam Makhachev versus Charles Oliveira 2. And I'm actually really happy that this matchup did get made. I was a little worried it wasn't going to get made because Charles Oliveira did not want to go back to Abu Dhabi. I think he wanted to fight in Brazil or he just didn't want to fight in Abu Dhabi because he ended up defending his belt, which he lost to Islam Makhachev in Abu Dhabi. And he kind of didn't want to do that because the UFC was kind of pushing him. He didn't have too much time off. So he really kind of wanted to, unless he was angling for more pay, I guess that kind of makes sense there too. I bet you he probably got paid pretty well for that matchup. So I'm, again, I'm just super excited. I was a little worried because it did seem like we we're going to be looking down a little bit more in the rankings. There was mentions of Armand Sarukian, Mateus Gamera, because we had guys like Justin Gaethje and Dustin Poirier who are going to be occupied in that, well, I guess this upcoming week's, next week's card for UFC 291. That one's going to be a car crash, or there's no way they're going to be able to make that fight after that, just expecting how much damage they're going to be taking. And then you can't really give it to anybody else, right? Like Volkanovski's recovering from surgery, so he can't come in and fight. There's no one really down the board except for Charles Oliveira. And Charles Oliveira was like, I don't know, I'm fine with November or December, but I just don't want to go to Abu Dhabi. Ended up taking the matchup. Good for Charles here, but I am a little bit worried for the matchup of him. I think this one's going to be a little bit more competitive to start out. I think Charles Oliveira in that first matchup, going in there, he looked really hesitant everywhere. And I just don't believe he thought and believed into his game plan. I think he is starting to ride like a heavier wave of momentum after that last matchup against Benil Dariush, where he absolutely, I don't want to say starched him because he ended up on his back due to like a failed takedown, which Charles Oliveira do not go for a takedown in this matchup. I think he did it against Islam Makashev and was put in really bad positions. Did it against uh, Benil Dariush and Benil Dariush was able to reverse a little bit more and put him on his back. Of course, Charles Oliveira really good off his back. I made my take basically for that matchup that Benil Daryush isn't heavy enough to kind of force his way on Charles Oliveira like Islam Makashev was able to do. So Charles Oliveira just needs to basically stay off the ground here. I don't I don't like it for him if it ever does go to the ground. Maybe you can kind of just hold Islam Makashev off a little bit more because Volkanovski, I don't want to say he didn't expose Islam Makashev, but he kind of gave away like a little bit of hints to where it could help some of these other fighters fight him. But for this matchup, I have to go with Islam Makashev. I think he does end up beating him maybe in like the fourth or fifth round. Maybe he ends up getting into the submission. But I think early on, this is going to be a relatively competitive fight. And maybe Charles Oliveira. Charles Oliveira definitely has a chance in this matchup. Just due to his power and just how good he is on the feet. Like he'll just walk guys down. But Islam Makashev is getting better on the feet. He's a lot stronger. You saw what he was able to do against Charles Oliveira when he submitted him. I guess Charles Oliveira was rocked. But again, Islam Makashev is a very strong dude. If Islam does eventually go for takedowns, maybe there's going to be that chance for Charles Oliveira because he was rocked when he did get submitted. He's going to be able to throw up some of the submissions and kind of make it a little tougher for Islam Makashev because he can go for some of those uh, leg locks. You saw Volkanovski and Craig Jones kind of mention it quite a bit during their fight week with Islam Makashev is that you can go with leg locks. You saw Tiago Moises. I think he went for a knee bar eventually. Didn't actually get it, but it like... It kind of worried Islam Makashev a little bit in that matchup. So there's definitely ways that Oliveira can have a chance and have a really good shot at winning this belt, but it's going to be really rough for him. I think this matchup isn't the best for him. He obviously has a chance because of the power, like I mentioned before, but I have to go with Islam Makashev here. I'm going to take the Volkanovski route with how I predicted that one. I'm going to basically put the standards. I'm not going to expect too much out of Charles Oliveira here so he can just impress. I had the same idea with Volkanovski. Just keep keep standards low so I can just be happy when the fight happens if, if he does at least do pretty well in there so that's the route I'm going to take with it but moving on to the next matchup that was announced here Hamza Shemaya versus Paulo Casa now Paulo Casa was supposed to be fighting Ikram Alesgrav on the UFC 291 card that fight ended up not happening Paulo Casa said he was not signing the contract because I think is because Ikram Alesgrav is like an unranked fighter and it really doesn't help Paulo Casa and let's be real that's probably the case but I didn't think he was actually serious. He said he wasn't signing the contract. And now a week before the fight is supposed to happen, they make this announcement. So I guess it's a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know. I, th I thought Paulo Costa was just trolling. I thought he was gonna, just going to end up fighting. But, I mean, he ended up getting the fight. 
I thought Cannoneer versus Hamzat was probably going to be the fight to make. It didn't seem like that was the case because Cannoneer, or not Cannoneer, but Hamzat kind of referred to the fact that he has a fight and that it's a higher ranked guy than him. And his coaches or something said that they're watching footage for him and people kind of broke it down a little bit more and found out that it was Cannoneer. So I guess that Cannoneer fight against Hamzat Shemaev is just not happening anymore. I wonder who Cannoneer is going to fight. But just going into this matchup, this one's going to be super exciting, and I, I don't think I touched on it, but Alice Grab is going to be also on this card against Nasruddin and Mabba. But for this fight, I think this one's going to be a little bit more of an interesting matchup for sure than uh, the Cannoneer fight. Although Cannoneer looked really good against Vittori on the feet, I think on the ground he probably would have gotten demolished against Hamza Chemaev. Remember, Cannoneer got, got taken down by Brunson, so I, I think Hamza Chemaev probably would have just ran through him, but... The buildup for this fight is going to be really big. These guys do not like each other. I think, yeah, what, was the, what was the whole thing for UFC 279 is Paulo Costa showed up backstage and was like messing with Hamza Shemaev or whatever. And he was supposed to like supposedly the reason why he missed weight. So it was just some crazy stuff, like just with that whole backstage thing. But man, these guys have a lot of uh, rough beef. If you have not seen... Paulo Costa's Instagram since this fight has been announced. It's some crazy stuff, but man, I I do think Hamza Shemaev does win this fight. I think Paulo Costa is going to be a little bit more better at defending the takedowns than I would have thought Cannonier would have done because remember, Paulo Costa is just going to be the bigger dude. Paulo Costa missed weight against Vittori. I, well, I guess he didn't miss weight, but <laughs> ended up fighting at what, 205, 210 or something? I don't even know what it was. But he's a very big dude. He cuts quite a bit of weight. It's a very, very long process for him cutting weight for his matchups. And he's going to be the bigger guy against Hamza Shemaev. So that's going to be a little bit different for Hamza in this matchup, which is going to make it a little bit more intriguing. Paulo Costa does have some good takedown defense. So we'll see what happens there. This fight is not going to be, or at least Paulo Costa's fight is not going to be at altitude. So I don't necessarily have to worry about that. So because his last matchup against Luke Rockhold was kind of iffy, he just wasn't doing too much and he looked kind of gassed out. So you can't really take too much from that, but... Man, Paulo Costa has a really solid chance here. I am going to go with Hamza Shemaev. I think he'll be a little bit better on the feet. I think he'll just be pressuring a little bit more. And I think he'll eventually get like a body lock and bring him down to into a takedown. So that's how I see that one going. I see him eventually controlling Paulo Costa. Maybe he ends up getting a sub. I don't, I don't necessarily know. Maybe this one could go to a decision. You never know because Paulo Costa is a stronger guy. But... Maybe a, a late round submission for Hamza Chemaev. I think Paul Costa is going to make this really tough for him. I don't think he's going to let a guy like Hamza Chemaev. Not saying that guys have let him do this, but Hamza Chemaev is going to have a really hard time out muscling him on the ground and controlling him in certain spots. So you're really going to see the technical side of Hamza Chemaev in this matchup. I think he'll do really good. Maybe he gets a finish later on in this fight by submission when he eventually gets Paul Costa down. I kind of want to see them fight on the feet a little bit more here. Because there is going to be some some bad blood here. So maybe Hanzo Shemaev just comes barely out there trying to KO him and finish him. Or maybe he takes this one a little bit slower because Paulo Costa is very dangerous. So I'm expecting, I think I already did a prediction breakdown or an early prediction oh, like a while ago for this matchup. But I think Hanzo Shemaev can win this one by decision. Maybe Paulo Costa gets a round because it starts a little bit slower. There's not too much going on. But I think Hanzo Shemaev either gets a late round finish by submission or this one either goes to a decision. I think he wins by a decision also. I think he, he'll just do enough maybe on the feet and just mix in some of the takedowns, control them pretty well, and land some good shots on the ground. So I'm going to go with Hamza Chemaev in this matchup. Uh, again, I'll probably be doing a little bit more of an in-depth breakdown for the early predictions of these matchups. So let me know what you guys think about both of these matchups. Who do you guys have in them? And I'll see you guys next time.